they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. It's a five receiver set, three to the left, two to the right. Back to throw now on first down. It's hauled in by Shepard. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. They'll set up a throw, sliding out of the pocket. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We'll tie the intended receiver at its third down. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. On play action, they'll throw. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Gold is able to put it through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. So a field goal here, they're still down, but they put a dent into that lead before the break. And that's gotta feel good, because now they've seen that they can put some more points on the board, and that gives them a whole second half to get back to where they want to be, and that's in the lead. Andre Roberts now to return it. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Here's Riddick. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Now, all of everything here, we're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Off of play action, here's Stafford finding time. He's going to look deep down the field. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Three down, three down. Throwing on third down. Stafford. And able to find Green. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So they get the three, increase their lead to close out the half. Excellent way to end a drive. Go into the locker room with a little bit of extra momentum after adding three to their total. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far as we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by the former first rounder, D. Milliner. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. 
And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. A gain of six there on first. And a pretty simple completion there underneath, but a successful one for the offense. Partner doesn't have to be the big shots downfield all the time. Having that safety net underneath is a great thing for a quarterback. They come up in an offset eye. And they'll go on the ground. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And he's got Will Ty complete. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Will Ty, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Giants use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. It's up, it's good. That'll make the score line 20 to 10. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And Detroit getting set to go now. Take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, Stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. They go back to Riddick. Theo Riddick past the 20. Touchdown, Detroit. Theo Riddick, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions add on to their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, you gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll look to throw. And he slings one that's incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And that takes us from second to third down.
Still nine yards to go on third down. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. On third down, he'll drop to throw. It's caught, Shepard. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. And on second and ten now. They come out five wide. Three of them to the right side. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And this is Shepard on the catch. And he's brought down. 15 yards through the air and a first down. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. And some extras coming up on the line here, Redding for the blitz. They'll look to throw here on first down. Caught left side, it's Beckham. A very solid gain of 27. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. And now a first down following that long gain. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. This one losing yardage back at the 12. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Oftentimes, when you're not winning at the point of attack for an offensive line, maybe they're getting out physical, spread things out a little bit, make it more of a one on one blocking scheme. Then you don't have to win it physically, you just have to win it by position. That may open things up for your running backs. Out of the gun now on third down. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And Gold is able to put it through. And that will close the gap down to 14. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive only yields three points. Yeah, they were able to move the football, but the defense stiffened once their backs were to the end zone, and they were able to hold them to just three. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. 
That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems 